Hey everybody, this is Direct Minecraft, and here is my intro. Hey, what's going on guys? Direct Minecraft here, back with another video, and today we are re reacting to Bikini Bottom Mysteries again. Woo! -hoo! And I know I haven't exactly uploaded anything for the past uh, two weeks, but um... Hey, oops, sorry about that. But I was thinking, eh, what the heck. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and uh, react to uh, episode 7 to 8 of season 2 of Bikini Bottom Mysteries. And without any further ado, let us begin. They seem sweet. Whoops. Huh. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot to plug in my headphones. One sec, please. All right. Better turn it to here so you guys can hear me well. But is there something shady behind Michelle's shade? Hey, what's shaking? Oh, that's, you know, this is, is Bikini, Bikini Bottom, Bottom Mysteries. Mysteries. Still love that intro. Meet Miss Shell. Miss Shell Sass's Ghosts. There's this great new product called I don't think she can see. Miss Shell shushes troublemakers. Miss Shell sells seashells down by the seashore. No, she doesn't. Uh, well, right. she still seems like quite a plucky old lady. But is right. there more to Miss Shell than meets the eye? Lonnie, is that you? Exhibit A, seeing double. Decades after her stint as a teacher, how is this old lady still so spry? Is it all the power walking, the steady diet of Krabby Patties, or is it something far stranger? What the? Watch closely. This Michelle is slumping into her vichy swans, while that Michelle sprints through the streets of Bikini Bottom. This Michelle needs a walker, while that Michelle can withstand a towering boat wreck. This Michelle can't find the menu section. Do you know where the menu section is? While that Michelle faced down the Flying Dutchman himself. Seems awfully suspicious. Radically different personalities. Rapidly changing abilities. Could it be that there's more than one Michelle? Holy smokes! Holy smokes is right. Because where there's smoke, there's fire. That's right. It seems Bikini Bottom is home to not one, but two Miss Shells. One elderly, fragile, and hopelessly gullible. But this is a spoon. And another a fiery fish with a penchant for stunts. Thank you, SpongeBob! Oh, yeah! Still I not convinced, I, after I, all, I, it's I an excellent likeness, it. nearly indistinguishable. Except we've caught the double on camera. Double? Take a look. This Michelle flees from danger. But moments later, back inside the nursing home. Take a look at those boots. Seem familiar? Those are Michelle's signature boots. That's uh, right. Those are blue. The other Michelle are is still inside. Or half inside. But if there are two Michelles with radically different stunt abilities, wouldn't someone notice? What if someone already has? Exhibit D, cold shoulder. Between the hair, the glasses, and the attitude. I knew it. Miss Shell seems pretty memorable. And she and SpongeBob cross paths again and again. They were in a band together. They learned to drive together. And... She was SpongeBob's kindergarten teacher. That's right. She was there in his formative years, ushering him through kindergarten. So why doesn't her old student recognize her? They're right here, lady. Lady? He's got nothing to say to his old teacher. He doesn't even say her name. Hey, Granny, what's shaking? Granny? This is the same sponge who was willing to break his other teacher out of jail. The same sponge who counts his kindergarten classmate as among his closest friends. Only our closest friends. Who the barnacles is SpongeBob SquarePants? I believe you went to kindergarten with him, dear. So why the cold shoulder for Miss Shell? Is it because she shushed him while he was feeling it? You're feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. He was helping Mr. Krabs. <laughs> is it because she quit Squidward's marching band before the bubble bowl? 
Or is it because SpongeBob SquarePants, the chronic teacher's pet, is the only one who sees that this isn't the real Miss Shell? But why cook up a ploy so cunning, so elaborately choreographed, so intricately plotted that we never see them in the same place? Is it for sinister purposes or for something far more personal? Exhibit C, Dennis the Menace. Miss Shell's scheme might have yeah. selfish or That's shellfish the ends. Want to hear again. See what I did there? Could she be trying to bust her long, long, long time boyfriend? Because it seems Dennis is the real menace here. Sure, Miss Shell and Dennis have a long running relationship. They play canasta together, they go out on the town together. I don't do it on purpose. But this is no happily married couple. It's all in the name. Miss Shell, not Mrs. whatever Dennis's last name is. And it looks like Miss Shell's still looking for a ring. She's been spotted leaping for the bride's bouquet at a wedding, but good luck with those wedding bells, Miss Shell, because Dennis is already married. Just like we raised him. It seems Miss Shell has her suspicions. You have been cheated and lied to. I knew it. And rightly so. Because while leading on Miss Shell and maintaining a marriage with Mabel, Dennis has been dining with other ladies. Dennis, you double-crossing cad. So is Miss Shell's double act a way to spy on her no-good boyfriend? A plot to catch out Dennis? We may never untangle the personal lives of these scandalous seniors, but one thing's for sure, don't cross Michelle. Yeah, thanks for your buddy. And now, a bikini bottom bonus, bonus mystery. mystery. Yes. Janet and Marty are two suspicious starfishes. They claim they don't have kids. We don't have a son. These two starfish claim Patrick is their son. But if that's true, then how did Janet and Marty know Patrick's name? That's for Patrick. <laughs> Was it a good guess? Are they smarter than they seem? Are they stalking Patrick Star? Who are you, people? Uh, now, now, File this now one under gonna... him. For Marty, I'm scared. And Have from... you seen something Never. strange under the sea? Leave us a comment and tune in next time for more investigations that will blow your pores, strip your scales, and flip your fins. Like, subscribe, and remember, if, if the, the pineapple, pineapple fits, live in it. it. <laughs> I love that outro for uh, this. All right, okay. That was a freaky episode, but I'm going to have to uh, head back here. And, ooh, the cunning con man. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Robin for Batman. Who's the best Batman ever? Me, Robin. Okay, thank you. Next. Uh, he was born sorry with about glass that, bones, but, hey, paper skin, me. and a shameless too. craving for cons. It does my heart good to con a couple of class A suckeroonies like those oh, wow. two. That is but who like else horrible, is he trying to scam? <laughs> this yeah. is Bikini, Bikini Bottom Bottom Mystery. Mystery. I love the intro. Or did I already say that? Known only as the con man. The con man. This slippery fish seems like a small-time schemer. You two lady killers are too smart to be without one of my patented candy bar bag carrying bags. We'll take 20. But is he running more than simple swindles? Exhibit A, return on investment. Return it on may what? seem like he's got his con game down, turning a sob story into cold, hard cash. But luckily, I'm That's able funny. to keep myself alive by selling chocolate bars. But is it all oh, worth it? Just right. how much profit is he making like. on his chocolate scheme? How much does he have to spend up front to stock crates of candy bars and candy bar bags? Let alone the candy bar bag carrying bags. And that fake medical gear can't come cheap. Between the IV drip, the oxygen mask, uh, the full body bandages, and the heart monitor, it looks like the only thing flatlining is his bank account. And to top it off, our con man needs, so that... count them, three different houses to pull off this scam. Seems like a lot of overhead, but is he in over his head? 
Ow. Is this candy bar scam actually running him out of house and house and home? Buying the bags, the medical gear, the houses, all that for a few bucks on the off chance a couple of suckers come by selling chocolate? Good morning, sir. Oh, Would you like to buy some chocolate? Something's just not adding up here. He couldn't possibly be turning a profit. Unless he's playing a much bigger game. Exhibit B, impersonation. What do we really know about this con man? He's got purple scales, a rounded fin, a fancy suit, a hat he wears indoors, and most notoriously, a taste for ill-gotten gains. But wait a minute. Purple scales, rounded fin, fancy suit, indoor hat, taking advantage uh, of honest businessmen. There's just one other fish who fits that, that description. The health inspector. Uh, health inspector. It's suddenly oh, no. so clear. What if Mr. Krabs was right the first time? You loony loofah, he is the imposter! What if the con man actually is impersonating a health inspector to eat for free? A bit of makeup around the mouth, and it's a match. I'm going to need you to bring me one of everything uh, on the menu. The one of everything on the menu, huh? Um, compliments of the Krusty Krab? Sounds like a free feast to me. I just need to try a plain Krabby Patty. A plain Krabby Patty with a side of lies, perhaps. And it seems like our con man even has the perfect cover. The fake inspector has been captured. Here is his picture. If a health inspector comes to your restaurant and he's not the this guy, inspector. he's that real. That's quite an that assumption, that realistic fish head. That, that because that who health, says uh, this is the only uh, fake inspector in town? If everyone thinks the imposter's already been caught, who'd be on the lookout for another fake health inspector? It's the perfect crime. Unless... Exhibit C, the perfecter crime. How could the con man get away with these blatant scams? How does he stay one step ahead of the authorities? Take a long, hard look at our con man. Have you seen him somewhere else? No? What if we added shades? Now he looks like someone who's always around Bikini Bottom. Someone in a position of authority. Someone nobody would think to question. Someone like... This bikini bottom police officer. Looks like a this officer. goes all the way to the top. Oh, wow. Or all the way to the cops. But why is the con man impersonating a bikini bottom police officer? Ask yourself this. How did the con man get away with blatant identity theft? How has he stolen from local establishments? And how has he conned countless chumps? All without drawing the attention of the authorities? Could it simply be that he is the police? Switching identities, misleading the authorities, and using his police status to cover his tracks, to stop any Wait, investigations and there? bury any oh, proof. Yeah, so that, as far there. as the cops are concerned, the con man is just a phantom, a rumor, a shadow. As far as the cops are concerned, there is no con man. <laughs> Happy hunting! Happy hunting, <laughs> indeed. Oh, man, that is fun. Yeah. Yeah, that, that con man. And now, a bikini oh, bottom no, bonus no, sorry, mystery. Yes. You've been wondering about her since her first moments on screen. Girl. So it's time someone asked the big question about Pearl. The question you can't help asking. The one thing you've all Pearl been wondering. Monster? The yeah. huge mystery about okay. Mr. Krabs' beloved daughter. Who is Pearl? Best friend. It what? seems like Pearl's pals Best show friend. up one day and vanish the next. Let's hang out! Ugh, I can't. If these are her friends, why aren't they at her sweet 16? Who is Pearl's real BFF? Will she ever find fish she likes who like her back? File this one under B, subfolder F, sub subfolder F for best friends forever. Or Have you ever. seen something strange be, under the some, sea? Some, some Leave us a comment and tune well. in next time for more investigations that will blow your pores, well, guess, strip uh, your scales, and flip your fins. Well, we like, wait. subscribe, and remember, if get the pineapple fins. fins. We'll Leave it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm afraid that's going to have to be the end of the video. 
I am glad that I'm doing videos again, and I do have an update for you guys. Uh, this is this is actually a must-watch video. Now, I know I haven't really made any videos, but I actually lost interest in making YouTube videos because I just couldn't figure out what to do for a living. But yeah, so I'm gonna be taking a break from YouTube uh, for a while. If another, but not like uh, I'm I'm like I'm not gonna make much Minecraft videos anymore, but. I am, however, going to, uh, ma you know, like, Bikini Bottom Mystery videos. I will do that. I might make another Kahoot for you guys. And I hope to see you guys next time, if I ever do this again. But I will be, uh, I will wait for, uh, I'll, I'll wait until another Bikini Bottom Mysteries comes out. Leave me a comment about, uh, if I should, uh, wait until... Season 2, Episode 10 is also out for me to do this. I will make a Halloween live stream, and I hope to see you guys later. Bye.